It's Wednesday, August 31st, which the mayor has now officially proclaimed Gord Steinke Day. Our Global News helicopter is flying right over our television studios where Gord is about to deliver his final newscast. Global News Hour at 6 starts right now. Tonight on Global News Hour at 6. A $13 billion surplus announced. How it'll be spent and who won't benefit. Asian seniors being looked over again. $50,000 up for grabs. If you want the cash, police need a solution to an ongoing crime. This is a multi-million dollar problem. Plus... Come along for the ride and the surprises. Oh, you got to be kidding me. As we mark Gord's final day at Global Edmonton. All these people on your crew, they've been feeling kind of blue. They're going to miss you. That song will be stuck in your head for the rest of this evening. Partly cloudy this afternoon, above 30 for that daytime high. Heat warnings continue as well as severe thunderstorm warnings. We'll take a closer look at your full forecast in just a few minutes. You're watching Global Edmonton. This is Global News Hour at 6. Good evening. We're learning exactly how the government plans to spend its $13.2 billion surplus. The latest fiscal update released today shows the books are benefiting from high oil prices. But as Brianna Carson Smith reports, some who are struggling won't be saved by the surplus. Uh, take this tie off again. That's, <laughs> that's yeah. a reminder. Time. Yeah. Uh, and we are joined by Deb's beautiful wife, uh, Gord's, <laughs> Gord's beautiful wife. <laughs> Deb, thank you for joining us and being here. Inviting me in. Awesome. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And we have cake. Mm -hmm. Yes, a lovely cake. Keep on rocking, Gord. I don't know if we can see. see that. And it's real. Yeah. It's not styrofoam. It's beautiful. <laughs> Can't wait to dig into eat it. that. Yeah. Um, so I just uh, wanted, to, first off, to thank all the, the editors, of course, and the producers that helped find all this old footage that, that we have. <laughs> they um, had to dig deep. They had to dig really deep. So a huge thank you for, to all of them. Um, I think we could have turned this into a, a three-hour uh, Gord special. So. Well, we wanted people to keep watching, so we kept it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but personally, Gord, I just uh, want to thank you for being so welcoming and supportive uh, from the, the very beginning, you know, when I joined you at, uh, at the anchor desk. Uh, well, you made it easy. Thank you. Um, you are uh, such a, a class act. You are so kind. You're funny as heck. You make us laugh every single newscast. <laughs> and I think you really are an anchor in every sense of the word in the newsroom and in the community. Uh, you make people feel like uh, they matter in their stories matter. And by an anchor, you mean an anchor, not a dead weight. That's <laughs> yeah. a good thing. Yes, exactly. <laughs> right. Was that the right word? I don't know. Like that, no, pillar. I love it. Yeah. Pillar, yes. No, I've really enjoyed working with everybody in, in here, and the, the whole thing's been about teamwork, mm -hmm. and that's what we have here at ITV. I've been in other newsrooms and global, and uh, this is a very special place. Yeah. yeah, and it's definitely the end of an era, but, uh, you know, it is the beginning of something incredible for, for the both of you. So mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And I'm proud to say that we're second-generation co-workers. Our dads have worked together back in Saskatoon. Yeah. Not many people know that, but right. for about 30 to 40 years, our dads worked together in the same industry. Now we get to do Flying it. bush planes and going all over <laughs> Saskatchewan. The stories from them are amazing. My dad was riding in the planes with all the stories, right. not flying it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know what? You've, you've been such an inspiration to the community, to myself, and to everyone in this newsroom. There's nothing but high regard for you. And everyone says all the time, what's he like in person? And this is, this is what you get. And I can't uh, reiterate that enough. You have been such a pleasure to work with. Congratulations on your Thank retirement. You. We wish you guys all the best. Great adventures yeah. in the years to come. Well, I know we're all going to be sticking together, you know, yeah. and it's been just such a great day today. Uh, you know, just being around everybody here out in the lawn, there was a heck of a party and there was uh, yes. music and many tears. Many <laughs> tears, yeah, and it's hard uh, to, to, uh, to not have a lot of tears. And I just wanted to say that, to our viewers that uh, it's just been an absolute uh, wonderful uh, time here. And Kevin, you, you and I go way back. How many fishing trips do you think we've been fishing on? Fishing and everything else, all the other trips. But, you know, someone told me a long time ago, the key to being a good broadcaster yeah. is to sound knowledgeable without coming across like you know it all. Mm -hmm. Now that is you 100% oh, right I certainly there. certainly don't know it all. Yeah. And it's a connection that you have not only with the viewer, but it's a connection that you have with people. Oh, and that, that is why you are who you are and what makes you number one. 
Well, thank you so much for saying that. And it's just been a real pleasure again. And uh, there's more to come, but you know, it's been, like I said, a great day out there. We had Kevin Dabbs and, and you were out even playing in the band. It was just <laughs> amazing. We're just, it was more of a celebration, our amazing team. But I, what I really want to do is take a moment and thank all of you who are watching right now and have been uh, just such wonderful supporters of mine throughout three decades of my work. I really appreciate all the cards and the letters that, uh, that have come in in the last week or two um, and supporting everything that Global does and uh, right in the community as well. So you're the ones really who've made um, my job so special um, night after night. So uh, I'm going to miss you. I'd like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your support and, and the goodwill over the last 30 years. And my wife, Deb, and I just want to mention we're staying in Edmonton, so our paths just might cross one of these days, maybe uh, at the supermarket or, or, or maybe at uh, my new favorite place, uh, the hardware store. <laughs> so I really look forward to seeing you. I hope you come up and say hello. And uh, on that note, I just want to say good night. Uh, signing off here and uh, if I had a mic I'd drop it but I don't and I just want to say thanks so much for for three decades of inviting me into your home it's been a real pleasure thank you thanks Gord. yeah thanks very much good night give us a key Gord uh, uh, I don't uh, know. Uh, uh, I am Gord Steinke and I'd like to invite you down right here to our uh, ITV podcast For sure this guy was meant to be a news anchor. Then you see him on stage as a musician and you think, for sure, this guy's a rocker, born to rock, born to be on stage. So we're here, we're just having a lot of fun down here tonight. In just a few minutes, we're going to be joined by a number of dignitaries and stuff. Gord Steinke, when you watch him working with kids, he's like a kid. He's so gentle, you know, and he gets right down at their level. King of Rock and Roll is very much alive as Graceland Mansion appears.